this video, we're going to be talking about my absolute favorite neighborhoods in Chesterfield County, Virginia. Make sure you stick around to the end where I'm going to tell you about my absolute favorite spot to take a selfie. Just kidding. You're not going to want to miss it. Hey guys, this is Erin. If this is your first time to our channel and you want to learn all there is to know about living in Richmond, Virginia, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to ring that cute little bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. So let's get started. One of my favorite neighborhoods and one that everyone loves over in Chesterfield is Harper's Mill. And as soon as you drive in, you're going to understand exactly why, particularly if you go in there during the spring or during the fall. Absolutely beautiful when the leaden trees are all blossomed pretty pink or the beautiful uh, leaves are changing on the trees. So in Harper's Mill, the awesome thing about this neighborhood is it's super centrally located and you still can get an affordable home. People that are looking in that 400,000 price range, you can find a house, but be prepared that it, it's going to go up into the mid sevens. Um, houses in Harper's Mill range from the majority of them are going to be resale, but they are still very actively building in the neighborhood. And they're either new construction things that are going on right now, or they're sections that haven't even been started that are ready to be cleared. But most of the homes that are resale started right in the, um, I'd say mid to uh, 2000s. Great thing about Harper's Mill, besides the location, 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 as they always say, would be the amazing amenities. You've got everything that you could possibly want. Multiple pools, including one with the fun splash park things that you're seeing really pop up in a lot of the amusement parks. Now having that on a mini size right there in the neighborhood is a terrific thing for the kids, for visiting family, all of that stuff tons of trails. If you've been looking for a neighborhood because you are sick of um, walking along the curb or the kind of, you know, weeded out um, non-sidewalks, you're going to love Harper's Mill because you'll actually have trails that you can ride your bike, rollerblade. Um, the kids can ride their bikes. You can be walking the dog. Anyone coming to visit, be it morning or evening, you're gonna see people out on these trails all the time. And it's cool because Harper's Mill is not completely level, so you can actually get some major steps in there for sure. Great thing also about um, Harper's Mill, as I mentioned about the pools, very active swim team. Lots of fun little lakes. If you've got people that love to fish, great spot to kind of cast a pole in there. I'm not sure if you'll actually catch anything. In fact, I don't think any of our team, usually every place they're in, they've uh, fished one of those lakes. I don't think we've tried Harper's Mill, so they'll be next on the list for sure. Lots of parks, lots of uh, play fields uh, for soccer, um, for baseball, you know, basketball courts, tennis courts, all of that stuff. And again, lots of playgrounds as well. And that's a nice thing for people that are looking in the community. I don't want you to think that there's only one size fits all. You're going to find all sorts of people living in Harper's Mill and that's also why I love it so much. A good melting pot of all the different things. Not far off from Harper's Mill, but actually a little bit further, uh, a little further down would be another favorite neighborhood and that would be Collington. Collington is uh, broken down into two different sections. The, the big overall neighborhood is Collington and then you've got a newer section which is Collington East. Great thing, just like Harper's Mill, is it's super affordable. Um, you can definitely find something within the 400,000 ranges and actually probably a little bit more affordable than Harper's Mill that your top end are gonna be in the mid sixes. Some Thing to definitely consider if you're trying to keep within a certain budget. So again, just like Harper's Mill, they are still building very actively in Collington, particularly in the Collington East area. The, the older section of things, you know, same kind of time frame, things being built, you know, early 2000s on into the, um, the current state. Amenities, amenities, amenities. That's one thing that people really love about Collington. I, and what I think I like the best about Collington actually is that you really can find several different kinds of distinctive homes. For people that are looking for more of that, kind of their last home, that single floor living, very easy, no maintenance sort thing, um, you've got that option in Collington. If you're looking for the bigger home with the more everything looking, you know, the four bedrooms, the two and a half baths, the certain square footage, a lot of them actually even 
even have in a third floor. It's just nice that you have a good variety of different kinds of homes. And with them still building and things starting in the early 2000s, you do get a nice mix of different kind of architecture so everything doesn't look exactly the same, which is always a big thing for me in neighborhoods. Um, same thing, really, really wonderful amount of trails, lots of sidewalks that you can take all the way around. And Collington actually attaches to several other neighborhoods that run off of, uh, what is it, Summerford, and very close to Winter Park. Um, so you're super close to different amenities and things like that for shopping. Uh, but I like it that you've got those sidewalks kind of along your main roads that are going through. Um, great thing also is if you'd like to have your elementary school essentially right within your community, Collington is a great one for you. Um, that reminds me of the first neighborhood that we actually lived in where we bought our first house that had a neighborhood um, uh, the elementary school right there which was really fun even though the buses run back and forth it's nice to have the option that if you want to you know uh, walk up there with the dog and the kids and their bikes or um, you, you can absolutely do that during the the you know the morning or in the afternoon as well um, definitely lots of playgrounds fields all the different spots where you can picnic um, and their clubhouse is very nice um, I know several of my really good friends that live over in Collington are regularly up at that clubhouse with all the different games they play you know I always see them play in Bunko. Um, they've got all sorts of different card things that are going on for sure that they love for sure. Very active swim team. You'll notice I talk about that a lot when I talk about favorite neighborhoods that have pools. Uh, the Barracudas are the ones over there at Collington and you better bring your A game when you're swimming against the Barracudas for sure. We have several calls a day from people that are looking to move to Richmond, Virginia and work with our team. If that sounds like you, we would love to help you. Our contact information is right down in the description below. All right, I promised you um, my favorite neighborhood and also that perfect spot to take a selfie. I'm totally kidding, by the way. Uh, but my favorite neighborhood for sure in Chesterfield County has got to be the Highlands, and it's been that way for quite some time. I think the best thing about the Highlands that I love more than anything is it's one of those neighborhoods that got built and was really developed properly. Um, the way they've set out the different little sections of the Highlands, the way the rolling hills, having the multiple entrances, they just laid it out for the perfect amount of growth to that neighborhood. Kind of a field of dreams, build it and they will come. Highlands has been popular forever, but uh, the thing that has been kind of the tough thing is it's been a bit out by itself. Now, I do love that it is right up against Pocahontas State Park. Um, I don't know about walking there, but you definitely could bike there from the Highlands. And it just has that great park feel. If you ever go to certain areas and it's surrounded by how you get on the park roads, it has that feel. And the way the roads are kind of winding and twisting, it reminds me of some different spots where I grew up. I think that's why it really speaks to me. Um, but great, beautiful lead-ins. Um, still can actually get, I can't believe it, still can find affordable homes in there in the mid 400s. Definitely, if you are looking for something more exclusive or even looking for some waterfront options the Highlands is a great spot and why I've always loved it um, you're looking at homes that are well into the millions for sure beautiful beautiful lake um, if you can find a property that actually comes up that's either new construction on a lot that hasn't been developed on or one of the beautiful resales um, that are along the lake that's definitely going to be um, a real uh, treat I have a very good friend that lives in the Highlands and I'd say that was probably my first introduction to the neighborhood several years ago is getting to visit her in her house uh, and it's several different levels they have all the tiered decks they have a swimming pool in the back the really cool basement that the kind that you know you wanted to go hang out at everyone's house when you were a little kid because they had all the cool stuff that is my friend's house for sure and just being able to go out there and look over the water and of course they've got all the paddle boards and all the different things you go at it's not a big giant uh, lake that is attached to something that goes out to deep water but still just absolutely beautiful and the wildlife and when I was making the joke about my favorite spot to take a selfie um, not to take a selfie but definitely just to watch everything you know, people watch nature watch just get a, a true feeling of the neighborhood and that is the gazebo that's right on the really uh, little lake that's just down the hill uh, from the clubhouse and um, the pool for the community um, that is my favorite spot and I think that's everyone's spot. It's probably where anyone who lives in the Highlands is probably where they're all taking all their prom pictures for sure. Um, I don't care if it's freezing cold outside. In fact, I have, I have some wonderful video that I shot um, in the height of winter, freezing to death with my nose running all over the place and my big giant jacket that will make, never make it onto this channel, which is such a shame because I had lots of great things to say and I can't remember what they are for the life of me. Um, you're going to love the Highlands though because you have so many different options there. Um, for instance, if you wanted to join 
the country club, you have that option if you're a golf player, you have people that visit you on a regular uh, basis that would love to play golf. They have a great, beautiful golf course that runs throughout the community. Wonderful, amazing restaurant there. I have gotten a chance, actually from the same friend, to eat there several times over at um, the restaurant and they have outdoor seating as well as indoor seating. Super yummy. Um, really nice staff and just cool to be right within the community. I don't think I've ever lived in somewhere where they actually had a restaurant in the community, but it seems like people that do always love it. So got to put that on my bucket list to have it right there without even having to get in your car. Great clubhouse. They actually have a small workout room in there and that's a nice thing The you know, though you have the, um, the country club, which is separate from your regular dues, your regular dues do cover um, the ability for you to use the clubhouse and rent it out for events, and it does have a small workout room, which you just you know check out on the little list in due times. Tennis courts, the pool right there with a great fun, um, one of those big uh, cool slides like you see at the big giant pools or at one of the amusement parks, they've got all that there. They too have a very active swim team, the Hurricanes. Um, I know I was talking about uh, the Collington um, uh, team that is really, really great, um, but I'll tell you what, um, Definitely the Highlands, they know that they are probably um, going to beat you for sure. Um, and just the way they're set, again, overlooking the lake, having the pool right there, um, the sunset when you're having the different swim meets and all just really pretty and the smell of all the hot dogs and bad food, all the, what is it, all the junk food you always get for all the kids, different things there. Super, super active community, lots of different clubs within the neighborhood um, that people enjoy. I know that every single person that has contacted me, and I think the big thing that always draws people to the Highlands and what I loved about it too is um, you don't have teeny postage stamp, um, stamp lots here in the Richmond area, but if you want a true lot that's like an acre to three acres, which I think a lot of people coming from other areas that they're used to, the Highlands is always the neighborhood that comes to mind and I recommend to people. Now, originally a lot of people go out there and they're like, this is a little further out than I wanted. Um, that's the cool thing about nowadays is you really are seeing all the growth go to that part of the county. So there you have it, all of my favorite neighborhoods in Chesterfield County. If you have any questions or if I've missed anything in this video, please put a comment down below and I will definitely get back to you with the answer. And who knows, I might even make a whole video for you. Thanks so much for joining us again on Living in Richmond, Virginia. And remember, leave everything better.